Ripple XRP price prediction 2020. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocker from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, I'll be sharing with you my longer term price prediction for XRP. I'll be sharing you with you my current trading strategy. So, this pump that's happened, how am I looking to trade it? How you can be looking to trade or where to buy XRP? Also, guys, I'll be looking at some news of what's going on with XRP to help me with the longer term price prediction so guys without further ado let's get into the video I'll first of all share with you my trading strategy now so XRP had a breakout so if you were at your desk you should have looked to have bought this breakout I have got a trading strategy that you could have used a 5 minute or 15 minute time frame to have bought XRP in this move up. You can check it out in my free YouTube channel guys. Uh, it's a scalping video. If you search for it, you'll find it. And you can also watch this video. This video is explained to you the simple strategies that I use. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button because I think my channel is quite different to the rest of the other channels. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to not miss out on the next video. XRP XRP is a very popular coin so I, like, I, cover, I cover XRP for my subscribers quite a lot. So let's get into the video. So XRP had this pump. So if you're trading, you should have bought this pump. For me, guys, I actually bought some at the 19 cent level as per my strategy. If you guys remember, a couple of my price targets when this broke down was the 19 cents and the 14 cents level. So I did buy some at 19 cent, but not as much. It was more of a longer term huddle. Uh, so I would like XRP probably to come back down here before it carries on. I'll share with you my longer term predictions at the end of the video. Let's carry on with the short to term prediction so what we want to see is a follow through we do not want to see a pump and then dump we have seen that happen in xrp quite a few times so i'm not looking forward to buying xrp at this pullback because we know what happens with xrp we've seen it so many times big pump big dump big pump big dump what we need to see is follow through like we see in this downtrend we see this nice trending downtrend we want to see the opposite for in this uptrend i've already taken a loss here yeah. So I bought this four hour pullback trading strategy here, uh, RSI was getting oversold. We had a bit of a pump as you can see we went up about 2% but it was not sustainable. I took half off and the rest of them took me out as my stop. We do not want to see this guys. If XRP breaks below this support, let me draw this support out for you against BTC about 25 cents 26 cents it will be really bad for xrp i think it can go down to those levels that i was talking about and this could be just a pump and dump the news potentially could be you know making that decision as well that there's, there's some news coming out of ja uh, for japanese exchange potentially delisting xrp that can have a part to play in this pump and dump as well so we have to be very very careful so my strategy, the strategy that I shared in the group was to buy a pullback to the 50 or 60% zone. So 50% Fibonacci and 6618 Fibonacci is the level that I would like to take a trade. But this will be more of a short term trade. So about the 18 cent and uh, the 20 cent level, 19 cent level, I'd probably take two. I'll buy two uh, two positions, 50% at 20, uh, 20 cents and about other 50% at 19 and a half cent with a stop below 18 cents if we can see a follow through that will be my trading strategy but due to this sell off guys I'm not too happy with this pump guys if we seen more follow through if you remember when Bitcoin bottomed early 2019 we carried on moving we did not give so much back this is exactly what I want to see with XRP when XRP is bottoming so that is some red flags but that's how I'm looking to trade it if you're a trader you can make money whether the coins going up or down you could look to short it and make sure you learn about trading guys I, I've got a full trading course I recommend you check it out for the money you can make in one trade and the price you pay for this course it will be worthwhile in the long term especially if we get a huge cryptocurrency rally this will be money well spent and if XRP goes up or down you can make money and it's important to learn about trading because if you had bought XRP at the top of this pump like newbie traders you'd be down seven eight percent and you can't be doing that you need to be buying xrp or any coins at cheaper prices so you can make money and trade differently if you trade like everybody else you'd be very uh, quickly losing your money 
So that is my short term predictions for XRP and how I'm looking to trade it. Let's have a look at the news guys. So the key news is a, a Japanese exchange called Bitbox is looking to delist XRP and the reason why they potentially said it is we keep a constant watch on all coins that are being traded on Bitbox. If a coin does not meet our ba standard based on its performance, reliability, liquidity or law or regulatory requirements it will be delisted from our exchange to protect your assets and interests we provide sufficient notice before delisting and ja japan's got good links with ripple asia we know with the sbi holdings i've made videos about it so this timing of the news is very bad because it could be that people that knew about it was waiting for a pump and then dumping on newbie traders and people that are not in the know for it to dump and um, even if it dumps i think we will get a bounce to play with uh, potentially at the 50 percent or 618 zones these are the zones i've got written there so it's the it's that zone and this zone. these are the two zones i'd be looking to buy uh, for a trade i'll share with you make sure you uh, join the group i'll share with you exactly when i'm looking to buy or looking to sell you know as traders you win some you lose some only people on youtube that don't trade and don't know what they're talking about win 100 percent of our trades i'm very transparent i share with you all my winners and all my losers so this news is very strange guys i'm a bit surprised with this Jap J japan news especially because japan is meant to be quite open with xrp with their SBI uh partnership and the delisting of asset on bitbex comes during a period which it is experiencing arguably one of the strongest rallies in the past year fueled by integration of xrp by binance futures you know uh, i've shared with you that tweet make sure you follow me on youtube uh, twitter facebook i shared with you this news uh, justin not justin uh, binance cz uh, tweeted about Binance futures so I'm really surprised guys it's also worth observing that Japan may, remains a major cryptocurrency market to actively support Ripple and his blockchain solutions so this news comes that comes as a bit of a surprise and especially the timing is very very awkward we've seen it happen again I'm not saying this is a pump and dump but we have seen it happen things pump very hard and then news come out and then it, the people smart people in the know dumps it and the XRP BTC chart is already broken below my moving average that I used to trade uh, and as you can see it couldn't get above it uh, if it breaks below this support it will be very very bad for XRP what I would like to see is a potentially tightening pattern here and a trend change this is what I would like to see against BTC and with xrp usd i'd like to see the four hour moving average hold and start moving up I, I might look to take a trade up here if this four hour holds but ideally i'd like to trade the 50 percent and 618 if you're a more longer term trader maybe look to buy at 22 uh, set uh, to uh, 20 cents and 19 cents with your stop below 18 cents that could be a good trade um and make sure you subscribe to my channel i'll keep you guys up to date uh, with how this trade panned out uh, i do live streams as well so you can see exactly the the power of the strategies that i use so i don't just teach i put it in theory to share it with you so let's have a look at the longer term price predictions for xrp guys so when this support level broke this was very very bearish for xrp and people think that i'm an xrp hater i don't hate xrp i just share with you my technical analysis i've been trading for over six years and i try to share with you exactly how i trade i sold i made a video about selling all my xrp here and since then it has dropped about 40 percent i took a lot of trades here if you go watch those videos of xrp breakouts these were some really good trades these i think three trades worked and then the swell pump video did not work that was very disappointing i took a loss here but there was some really good money especially this trade worked really well my next target is not really going to be helpful this is where i'd buy loads of xrp if it drops to the 14 and a half cent level there's some massive support this fibonacci support here as well this is where i'd be looking to buy xrp and potentially xrp btc 
same Fibonacci level if it drops to here I'd look to buy if you're new to trading guys uh, uh, in the simple terms you should not buy something that's up about thousands of percents at three dollars you should be looking to buy things when they're down here it's a very simple advice you know you shouldn't buy something that's gone up two thousand percent buy them cheap and that is how you make money even if we rally half of what we did uh, back in 2017 I think we'll never we might never see anything like that back in 2017 but there are going to be lots of opportunities so this is the time for you to invest in yourself educate yourself and learn how to trade because next time when we do get an opportunity like that you can capitalize on it and drop take the money and sell it to newbies that are coming in and don't you'll you'll do what these people did where the people in the know-how bought it cheap sold it onto you at the top you could do the opposite you could buy it cheap and sell it top to the new people coming in so that is sort of my longer term prediction again i might change my mind if we see follow through if we see a trend change again in simple terms change trend change is this if we see this if we see big volume increase then xrp can be going up but because of the pullback and because of this news that i've shared with you i'm not too sure what we'll see so make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll share with you my opinions i'll keep you guys up to date and again i don't i know i have i don't have that many xrp fans people say i'm an xrp hater but you could see from my videos that i was looking to sell xrp when people were telling you to buy and you would have saved a lot of money if you followed me I'm not saying I get I'll get all my predictions right, but if I take ten trades, I'm confident that you know more I'll have more winners than losers, and overall I will make money. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification button. To end the video, guys, my question to you guys is what is your prediction for xrp guys comment below your price predictions for xrp and let's have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much